The final reformation is back to the rapture. It's home on one now. The final reformation with new episodes every Wednesday now moves never to stop again. The body of Christ must now become biblical. In words and in deeds, we must and we will fight till this is done. I will give this generation back to God, no matter the cost, this generation will be raptured. God bless you. My name is Chidema Kingsley, and this is the final reformation. It is the introductory episode. Welcome. By God's grace, we are alive, we are living, we are breathing in the era of the final move of the Holy Spirit to reform the Church of Christ on the earth. The bulk of the Church of Christ on the earth today is in desperate need of a complete overhaul. The Holy Spirit is now moving to stare the body of Christ away from its current path and direct it towards becoming completely biblical. It is the Holy Spirit's very last move to help you get ready for the rapture. I'd like you to understand that the final reformation is completely and solely targeting the rapture. It is the complete and absolute reason for the final reformation. This move is to help get you ready for the rapture. Men are only sent in this direction because the rapture is in view. Take it from me to you. The rapture is non-negotiable. And at this point, it is closer than you ever imagined. There's only one right decision to make at this time, and that is to get ready for the rapture. You do not want to deal with what happens to a person that you are left behind. The scriptures are clear. Jesus is returning for a church without spots or wrinkles i.e. a church that is biblical. This gets me emotional every time. The body of Christ, the bulk of it on the earth today, seems to be on a journey very far from scriptures in its ways. Many times it feels like a non pole south pole situation. But the Bible station at the north with its truths and standards, eternal and unchangeable, just as is God. And the body of Christ seems to be on a journey to the south pole. The Holy Spirit is now moving for one last time to help set things in order, to help you conform to the divine order set by Christ himself, our Lord, the Messiah. It is very easy, like most of us do, to talk about the last move of the Spirit without really realizing that the implication of that statement is that the Holy Spirit is moving for one last time. It is his final move, his last attempt to help you get ready for the rapture. In the past few episodes of the final reformation has been recorded, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit by his instruction at crucial times to make major announcements of things that had come into their season in the will of God at this time. However, each of those times, after a few recordings, maybe one, two, or three, I was instructed by the Holy Spirit to stop recording. At first, I had no idea why that happened every time. However, later, the Holy Spirit let me know, he told me that it was because of my wounds. My wounds were one of the major reasons why I was not allowed to continue. I've learned now that with wounds, wounds are unhealed. Nobody can completely and correctly, accurately represent God. And because this is the final move of the Spirit to get the body of Christ on the earth ready for the rapture, no chances uh, can be taken, no risk can be taken. I could not be allowed to continue with wounds. You see, a few things on the earth exposes you to wounds as much as the call of God in your life to be a reformer. One of the reasons is the reformer by divine design, by divine election, your life and your ministry is crafted meticulously by God, not to fit in. Hmm. Your life is arranged and designed by God, not to fit into the norm, not to fit into the status quo, not to fit into what is happening currently to the system of ground, because these are the things God in that generation is trying to bring down by your life and your ministry. This is one of the major reasons why you are exposed to injury. People misrepresent you, they misunderstand you, they misinterpret you. There's just so much. I, 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 I wouldn't want to delve into that now because I will explain more about wounds in the next one or two episodes. But this is one of the reasons why a reformer is exposed in very strange dimensions to being injured. Also, men, as the scriptures say, they, after taking old wine, do not desire the new, for the say the old is better. 
And this leads many times to a rejection of a reformer because you are coming up with things that are against what the people are used to. But I give God all the praise and I'm glad to announce that the final reformation is back and is back to stay. There is a dispensation of God that has been given to me for the Lazi Church. A dispensation of God before the foundation of the world was handed to me for the Lazi Church. And how am I straightened till it be accomplished? But no matter the cost, at all cost, I'm willing to go and to pay the price and to fight for this generation to be rapture. And talking about the rapture once more at this point, I'd like to wrap up by saying, I beseech you in this moment to please plead the blood of Jesus over your spirit, your soul, and your body. I'd like you to do it as you are listening to me. If you are listening to me, then I'm talking to you. You're a part of the body of Christ, and it's your individual responsibility to get ready for the rapture, to get yourself ready for the rapture. I've often said, even my little baby who have to journey alone. When we talk about the rapture, it's a personal journey. Everyone prepares himself to be a part of the church that will be raptured. I'd like you to take some minutes after pleading the blood, and I'd like you to do it in this moment, I beseech you to do it in this moment. Take a deep search into your heart. Look inwards. Look inwards. I've never known a man to be willing to change without being convinced that he's in the wrong. I've never seen a man who took steps to change without being convinced that he was an error. It never happens. And this is the reason why you must sincerely look at yourself. And in this moment, you need to remember that we are dealing with a God who knows all, He sees all, He knows us intimately and loves us just the same. He loves us intimately just as He knows us intimately. And this is one of the reasons I love Psalm 139. It says, O oh Lord has searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts are far off. He said, Thou compasset my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways for there is not a word in my tongue but lo O lord thou knowest it all together thou hast beset me behind and before and linked thy hand upon me he said this knowledge is too wonderful for me it is high i cannot attain it whither shall i go from your spirit and whither shall, or whither shall i flee from your presence if i ascend up into heaven Thou art there, if I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell on the most part of the sea, even there with thy hand in me, and thy right hand shall hold me. He says, if I say that the darkness will cover me, even the night will become light above me. No, the darkness does not hide from thee. It is one of my favorite sounds. God is deeply aware of who we are and in this moment you cannot hide from him you there's just no way man can hide from god and that's why you must at this point look at what and answer the following questions are you biblical is your lifestyle aligned to scriptures are you in line with the word of god your thoughts your words your actions are they like scriptures I know what scriptures expect from you. This is how you know that you're ready for the rapture. It's not something you want to be playing with. You don't want to be left behind. You don't want to deal with what that means. Are you the Christian who does not want the Lord to return just yet? If you do not tell others that you're a Christian, would they know by observing your ways? Are you biblical? And being biblical is not a quoting of scripture, it's not put in the scripture at all, it is the daily painful striving to in words, deeds and actions be aligned with the word of God. There's no better service you can be doing for yourself than this in these days as the final information moves to help get you ready for the rapture. From me to you at this point, till I see you next week Wednesday, it's goodbye. God bless you richly. My name is Chief McKinsey and this is the final information.
Spirit and the bride say come.